let's go to Tucker and Dale versus Evil, 2010. Uh, affable hillbillies Tucker and Dale are on vacation at their d dilapidated mountain cabin when they are mistaken for murderers by a group of preppy college students. Gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have their own show going over there. No, this is Pet Talk with this this Josh and Ray. Uh, directed by Eli Craig, who did Zombieland and Little Evil. Um, did you guys ever watch that? The I saw Zombie Netflix Man. series Little Evil. Never. I think I started with Jim Finch. Uh, written by Eli Craig and Morgan. Shot that guy from Parks and Recreation. Yeah, Adam Scott's on it. Um, what do you have? Where are we at? Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Oh, Twenty ten. Not even there. Holy smokes! <laughs> Hold on. We got to pause. What's so important? I was just making sure this was turned. Uh, tagline: This so this year's here. spring break is cut short. Distributed by Magnet, releasing and on Blu-ray through Magnolia Home Entertainment, 2011. Good yeah. year. <laughs> Great year. Uh, Taylor Labine and uh, Alan Tudyk are a wonderful duo. Uh, I've heard that Mr. Tudyk, is that how you say it? Is yeah, that how you say it? Tudyk. Uh, is, <laughs> Mr. Ah. Tudyk. Yeah, he, I heard that, I've heard that he's good in other things, but I haven't seen him in anything. Uh, I like everything that Levine's in, though. Uh, the summary doesn't mention that Tucker and Dale have purchased a killer's cabin. Uh, they, they don't notice any of the hanging bones and stuff, I guess. Uh, they nailed the t uh, stereotypical slasher movie victims. Uh, it's just this group of teens, uh, vapid idiots, uh, who want to get drunk and hump in the woods. Uh, the gruesome special effects are used as punchlines in this movie, just like they did in Deathgasm, Murder Party, and Babysitter. Uh, I lose my shit uh, every time during the wood chipper scene. Uh, uh, the, there's a scene where the, the kid jumps in the wood chipper, but then uh, fucking... Uh, Dale is in the pit. He falls back, and there's that spike, and that kid just impales it himself is. and is slowly sliding down the spike with <laughs> blood bleeding on uh, Tyler Levine's face. Uh, this is just a funny ass good time. Uh, the, the effects stand up to any traditional horror movie. Uh, not much I can really say about it. Uh, I liked it all. 8 out of 10. Backwoods horror comedy. What we have here. Uh, it's, it's hilarious. I love it. Um, it's goofy, clever, smart. Um, great setting again. Cabin in the woods. That's that's perfect for me. Uh, good kills. Um, a decent kill count. Uh, mostly practical effects. Some CG mixed in. Um, the characters, Tucker and Dale. The the, the chemistry they have. It was spot on. Everything's really well done. I think it's out of the horror comedies that I've seen. This is this is up there, maybe the maybe the best. Um, watch this one with my wife who doesn't like horror, and she was laughing and saying, "Oh my god!" And like you know, the kills. We we might we may have seen something coming, but she didn't she didn't see anything coming. It was it was fun to watch with her. Um, I highly highly recommend it. I give it a nine. I would give this a 10, but I think that towards the end it kind of slows down. Like it, yeah, everything happens pretty quick and then it just kind of balls. But the characters are so good that it, it could be a 9, it could be a 10 tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Hey, no, it's my turn. <laughs> no, go ahead. Thank you. Go. Um, By all means. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm not a big person on comedy horror, so. But it did. I, there was a lot of scenes that made me laugh, and I do like the. Uh, who's the bigger guy with the beard? Tyler, Tyler Levine. Uh, okay, that guy. The, yeah. the, the 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 hill. The redneck dude. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that dude's super funny. I don't know. He makes me laugh. Uh, so yeah, they had a good chemistry together and worked off each other really well. Um, but again, I'm not. I don't know. I don't like to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's about a five for me. Ray? I, I'm with you guys. I think it's an 8. Solid 8. It's hilarious. Everything is done better than you would expect in a comedy. This one's approved, Frank. Yeah. It's approved. Wow. It's it's a a Those two guys are hilarious together, and I would watch a thousand of these if they did. Um, yeah. did, you, did you ever watch the show Tyler Labine had where he was a, a stoner that could see ghosts and stuff? Yeah. What was that called? Um, it was on Hulu. Yeah. 
What was it called? I can't remember. I have to look it up. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> it's and also really Sons of Tucson, which was on Fox, oh, yeah. and they fucking canceled it. He yep. was awesome. They cancel all his shows, yeah. but he's great and everything. But he hot. They, a guy comes in to find the ghost, but he's not. Yeah. I've seen that movie. It's, it's a show. Oh. It's a series on Hulu. Boosh. <laughs> he he, he basically, um, he uh, becomes kind of like a medium for people, um, but he's a stoner. Oh no, the movie, I'm, have you watched uh, What We Do in the Shadows? Yeah. Okay, The Energy Vampire. Oh. He's in this movie that I'm, that oh. I'm talking about. He comes in and it's like a stalker movie. He's really good at it. Is that, I, is that that's good? Tyler Levine's in that? It's worth watching. We are, no, we are in the shadows. Oh yeah, I know, I love it. Really? Yeah, I, I've, yeah. I've been, I, I yeah. can't. It's, it's very dry, sense of humor. So I waited, dark. It's, it's I waited it. too long to watch it. It was available on something, and then as soon as the series came out, they pulled it off of whatever the fuck it was on. So, uh, yeah, haven't seen it yet. Cool. Good. It's good. But speaking of Tyler Levine, he's in another movie <laughs> called uh, Mountain Men, and it's him and his brother, and they go up to this mountain cabin, uh, and his brother ends up breaking his leg. I've seen that one, too. It's fucking yeah. hilarious yeah. and tragic, like tragic. Yeah. Also, it's pretty